friends. Today we're going to create a marble maze. The supplies we need is a paper plate, pencil, straws, scissors, tape, and a marble. We are going to use the design process as we make our marble maze. The design process includes brainstorming, creating a blueprint, making a prototype, then tweaking and testing our model. So our design challenge is to create a maze with a path from start to finish, including dead ends along the way. So let's brainstorm. Take a moment to determine your starting and ending points. They can be top and bottom, they can be side to side, they can be top to middle, whatever you decide. And then you want to consider the path that you want your marble to take. This can take several minutes to think through the various options. So when you're ready, go ahead and draw the design in pencil. This drawing is, con is called our blueprint. And here's a blueprint of one I've already done. And when you, when you begin making your blueprint, be sure you have a really good eraser on your pencil because you'll be doing a lot of erasing. <laughs> Let's build a beginning model called a prototype. Cut up straws and tape them along your path, including, your, including roadblocks. Be sure to leave enough room for your marble to go through. Then, test your maze by running your marble through the maze. I have one that we already finished. Make adjustments or tweak and then test again. Okay, so here's some questions to consider. What design worked best? What are the best and worst parts of your design? And then how can it be improved? All right, let's check out more marble ones. You can also make a marble run with a paper towel or toilet paper tubes. So all you need for this one are the tubes, duct tape, then scissors, and of course your marble. Um, please ask an adult where would be the best place to use duct tape though. I designed this simple marble run. I duct, I duct taped two rolls together, which made it longer, but it was a little bit wobbly. And then I also cut a tube in half to make a slide. All right, so let's see how it goes. So have fun creating your marble run. Um, and ask yourself this, these questions. What makes the marble go fast? And how does speed affect your marble run? If it's very fast, does a marble run fall over? If it's slow, does a marble run fail to reach the next drop? So ask yourself questions as you test out your marble run. All right, there's one more thing, one more marble run to check out. We have one more marble run to show you. I made this marble run on a piece of cardboard, but if you have poster board at home, you can use that too. Incline is the key to this marble run. Because it's on a vertical surface, it has the potential to go very, very fast. So, okay, so let's test it out. It took a few times. eventually we stuck the landing. Questions we have are what makes it go faster? What will slow it down? And what will happen if you add friction? Okay, that's it everyone. I hope you had a fun time designing and experimenting with your marble runs. Bye!